Hello, this is Toki Toki from Razor Elite Gaming, bringing you your weekly gaming news of the week. Sorry for the recent absence, just had a bump in the road, but now I'm back, so let's get on with the show. On PlayStation, the free games for this month go as follows. PlayStation 4 gets Helldivers Democracy Strikes Back and Nom Nom Galaxy. On PlayStation 3, Create Autosport, Personal 3 Arena Ultimix, <laughs> and Helldivers Democracy Strikes Back. On PlayStation Vita, Nova 111, Lemmings Touch, and Helldivers Democracy Strikes Back. I guess why not have them on all your consoles, huh? On Nintendo for you Pokemon fans, Mythical Pokemon will be available every month until the 24th at GameStop for Pokemon X and Y, as well as Sapphire and Alpha. This month's Mythical Pokemon will be Mew. This is appropriate as it being one of the first legendary Pokemon. Next month will include Celebi, Jirachi in April, Darkrai in May, Manaphy in June, Shyman in July, Arceus in August, Victini in September, Keldeo in October, Genesect in November, and Meloetta in December. Sorry if I butchered those names, my accent might be throwing it off a bit. This is definitely an eventful year for any Pokemon fan. On the Xbox, the free games for this month go as follows. On the Xbox One, players can expect Hand of Fate for the duration of this month and Styx Master of Shadows from February 16th through March 15th. On the Xbox 360, Sacred Citadel will last for the first half of the month, and then Gears of War 2 for the remaining half of the month. Arc Survival Evolved is receiving a large update that allows for split screenplay, as well as frame rate patches and some new added content involving dumb beetles and beer making and much much more. This update is set to arrive on mid-February. Continuing with Arc for the PC, Arc Survival Evolved is facing its first big update of the new year, mainly involving the Galanimus, a fast three-seated dinosaur that is capable of running fast and jumping long distances, although this dinosaur is only for transportation thanks to its inability to defend itself. Along with this update comes with some SWAT-style armor, as well as electric prods and a greenhouse to increase the productivity of plants. What better way to show someone you care? By avenging them in a brutal 2v2 elimination game, of course. Destiny is holding an event called Crimson Double, which launches on February 9th until February 16th. Thanks to this being a Valentine's event, there is a buff included after every teammate's death caught Broken Heart. This increases maximum armor, agility, recovery, and weapon handling speed. With this event comes special rewards including new shaders, an emblem, and a ghost shell. EA has decided to break tradition. EA will not have a booth at E3 2016. Instead, they will hold their own event called EA Play, and this will take place at Club Nokia on Sunday, June 12th at 1pm. This event will be free to the public, but tickets need to be reserved in advance. More details will be provided in the coming months. For those of you still playing Dying Light, the following comes with a new area that is twice as big as the maps from the original game. It will cost $20 but is included in the Seasons Pass. On the other hand, on February 6th it will be sold at $60 under the title Enhanced Envision, which includes the original game and the following. Ubisoft has made further post-launch plans for The Division, confirming three expansions in a series of free updates. The Division DLC Pass has been released yet, but it will include a sawed-off shotgun, a set of unique outfits and weapon skins, as well as a special monthly reward that includes exclusive content drops and special events. Division will release on March 8th. I am looking really forward to this, I hope you guys are too. LEGO Dimensions is expanding yet again with the additions of three remarkable Doctors. Doc Brown from Back to the Future, Dr. Venkman from Ghostbusters, and the Doctor from Doctor Who. The Doctor and Dr. Venkman minifigure can be purchased for $30. This will include level packs and time travel levels. Dr. Brown fun pack can be bought for $15, which includes a time traveling train. For those of you still playing Elder Scrolls Online, Thieves Guild DLC will be released March 23rd. This DLC comes part with an active ESO Plus membership. For everyone else, this will cost 2,000 crowns in the ESO Crown Store. Alongside this DLC, there will be a bundle that includes the Thief Guild's DLC, Hammerfall Camel Mount, and Kindle Spit, Dragon Frog, as well as 5 crown experience scrolls. 
This concludes the time we have left for this week's issue of Gaming News of the Week. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. My name is Toki Toki from Razor Elite Gaming, signing off.